Hi guys, I was just uh, building a doghouse for my new acquisition there. I got a great Pyrenees dog given to me. So she needs somewhere to live. But uh, what I was wanting to show you was the trusses. They're uh, just two by eights, 10 feet long. And uh, somebody told me how to do this, uh, one of the local guys in town here. So I thought I'd share it with you. You take a two by whatever and you quarter it. So you, uh, what you do is you measure 25% of the length of the board. So you half it and then basically half it again. Draw a line, you know, and I, I only wanted three inches of, of uh, this because I'm not going to insulate it. If I was going to insulate it, I would have uh, probably used a two by ten and had at least four inches of you know of this room here. And then you take this came off of there. How did that work? Yeah, well, bear with me. So that came off of there like that, right? And I take it off, turn it around, put it in the middle. Right, so then it looks like that, and I drilled two holes in here. These are half inch holes part of the way down because uh, I'm using three inch decking screws. And to drill, you know, to screw this to that, it's got that uh, I got to get it closer than say an inch and a half, right? And then I use some carpenter's glue here. Why don't I just do that right now? Oops, sorry. Doesn't have to be very much, eh? It just squishes it anyway. Oops. Got a little wild there. Set this down there. Get a decking screw. I'm running out of hands, folks, but let's see, and then this will screw down into there. That glue will basically hold it together and the roof sheeting will take care of the rest. So anyway, that's really good way to make a shed truss or in this case a dog house truss thanks for watching